Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting Morning Glory in acrylic paint. I usually paint them in water mixable oils, which I find easier to use when I'm painting flowers. But today I thought I'd try um, these very delicate, soft little um, blossoms in acrylic. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to use a sketch. Um, I find it makes the painting of flowers too tight but I'm showing you what I drew on my tracing paper just to give you the idea of the shapes. The leaves are heart shaped. So really we're going to be painting a series of circles and hearts. My palette is my usual one of titanium white, primary yellow, raw sienna, raw amber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. And to that I've added the latest colors that I found of brilliant blue and yellow green. I painted a background with primary yellow, French ultramarine blue and titanium white and those mixed together give me a lovely sort of yellowish green which I then swirled around with a powder brush to soften it. I'm painting in a circle for each flower that you see full on and an ellipse for those that are facing away from us. For the flower I've mixed French Ultramarine Blue and Brilliant Blue which is one of the new colours I'm painting with. Um, they're so vibrant I can't resist them. And for the stem I'm just using Sienna and a liner brush and painting a swirl. I don't like to place a sketch on the painting for things like flowers because it makes them so stilted and tight and I prefer to just um, splash on the paint straight off the brush and make any corrections I need to as I go on. I'm mixing sap green with primary yellow and I'll probably dab in a little blue into that and I'm going to paint a mid-tone green for my leaves in a heart shape. I'm letting the brush do the work just pulling it um, around leaving that little heart dip at the top of each one. And um, this is a very rough stage of the painting. It, as I go on, once I've got all the paint on the painting, I've got my canvas covered, then I refine it with my shadows and highlights. A good thing to do is to overlap things, overlap a stem with the leaf or overlap a flower with the leaf or make a flower overlap stems and leaves. I don't know, do it however you like it, but those overlappings give um, an added dimension to the painting. I'm using a liner brush and alizarin crimson to add a little pop of color to my stems. Um, I just like the way this looks. Not everybody does it. I'm sure there are people out there who would think that was a no-no, but I like the way it looks and so it's my painting. I can do what I like and I almost always add alizarin crimson to my stems and um, sometimes I'll use either a purple or French ultramarine blue as a shadow or sometimes simply raw umber. It's a nice neutral, it adds a darkness where you need it and um, that works too. So um, really you can do what you like with stems um, but adding colour, reds and oranges, um, gives a liveliness to the painting in my opinion. I'm adding a little strip of blue colour to the small circles. These are unopened flowers. They've just sprung from the bud, but they haven't fully opened. Uh, so you don't really have to do much to them, just add a dab of colour. I've decided to add a raw umber um, shadow to my stems. And I want to say that you don't have to um, separate your colours. Uh, it's okay to overlap these things, to have color peeping through. Um, 
when you've finished your painting, you may hardly see the alizarin crimson on the stems or the raw umber, but it will be there, it will peep through and it will add dimension to your painting. I'm putting in the petals with titanium white and I believe that's incorrect. I should have used a paler blue and I think later on in the uh, video I do change this to a paler blue. Um, I just want to give some depth to these. They're sort of like a horn shape, aren't they, these morning glory? And I'm trying to achieve that and I'm finding it difficult with the acrylics. I, I actually think that um, my water mixable oil version of this painting um, was easier to do. Acrylic painting flowers with acrylics is a little harder because you don't get the blending that you do with oils. And with acrylics you're painting with um, layers really. I mixed a darker green, adding a French ultramarine blue to the sap green, and I'm making um, a shadow side to the leaves. I'm letting the brush do the work, and I'm pulling, I'm using a flat brush, and I'm pulling the leaf in from the outer edge toward that center vein that they have. And um, I always think that makes a nice leaf. Um, I don't always paint exactly the leaf that a flower will have. I paint what I think looks good in my painting. I'm using the yellow green for a highlight, uh, but I might actually add a highlight to that by adding yellow and titanium white. I'm not sure at the moment, but um, I do like this yellow green. It's very handy, I find, and, and it does give um, a nice pop to the painting. I will add a link in the description to my last painting of Morning Glories, which I feel was more successful than this one. And um, it's quite an old video though, if I can find it, I will add the link in the description.
Using primary yellow and titanium white, I'm putting a center dot in, um, which helps give the trumpet of the flower a little depth. I, I'm not sure I've been very successful in, in making that form in this painting, but I'll keep plugging away. You never know. I don't know if I said already, I've mixed an orange here for highlights. Another colour that I love for highlights is Naples Yellow. It's great for sand if you're painting a seascape and it's wonderful for sunlit patches on grass or highlights on tree trunks or branches. It's a great colour, Naples Yellow. I'm using a liner brush, raw sienna, um, to strengthen the stems and add these loose sort of twiddly bits, which I think enhance the painting. I'm using a mid-tone green to show the little sepals on the unopened flowers. You don't see them on the opened ones. Um, the petals are blocking the view of that. But I can show them on these unopened flowers. And I'm using a liner brush to do this because they're quite fine and delicate. This white paint looks a little bright at the moment, but as it dries, it dulls down a little bit. So I'm not totally sure whether I'm doing the right thing here, but, um, and I might come in and adjust it. That's what painting is all about for me, is just adjusting what I'm doing, adding highlights and shadow, um, taking things out, adding things in. It's all about little adjustments until I get the painting where I want to see it. I'm an amateur artist. I paint for the love of it. And every painting is an experiment to me. And some of them are successful and I'm very happy with them. And some of them I have to step back and not work on it too much and just let it go. Um, I've always got a few of those around. And um, those are the canvases I paint over. If I'm painting on uh, watercolour paper, I usually paint on 140 pound watercolour paper. I don't paint over those obviously, but if I've got a canvas panel or a canvas, then I will paint over it with gesso if I'm using acrylics and repaint. I actually think this painting has gone beyond its adolescence and it actually isn't looking too bad. I'm, I think I'm quite happy with it. I'm 
I'm adding French ultramarine blue with a flat paint brush and um, I'm hoping to increase that trumpetness of the flower and I'm using French ultramarine blue because it is very transparent and it will just enhance the paint that's beneath it and um, I'm not painting the entire flower, I'm just painting a few sections. I, I think they're beginning to look even more trumpety and morning glory-ish, if that's a, a word. Yeah, I think this is quite successful. I'm pleased with how they're beginning to look. I think uh, using the French ultramarine blue has helped with the contrast problem because they were looking a little washed out before and um, I'm quite happy with them now. I've mixed up a bright orange and I'm just putting a little highlight here and there on the stem. Not the entire stem, just where I think the um, light is catching it. Well that's it for my morning glory painting. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was an experiment with my new colours and um, I think it turned out quite well. I still think my um, water mixable oil one is better. I'll try and find it and put I'll put a link in the description. But I'm quite pleased with this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, share and subscribe. That helps my channel grow and I'd appreciate it if you can find time to do that. And thank you very much for watching and thank you if you've already subscribed. Um, that's so nice of you and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.